and restaurant founded in Orland Park is opening its doors to its 14th Illinois location tomorrow in Morton Grove. Here to share their seasonal dishes and wines that pair well with them is head chef and VP of Culinary and Beverage Innovation, Matt McMillan. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning, Brittany. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. So restaurants right now Absolutely. still struggling as the pandemic wears on, but Cooper's Hawk is opening yet another location. What's the secret behind your success? Well, you know, COVID was tough on everybody, but uh, I think we're coming out of this and uh, this is our first location for this year right in, you know, outside of Chicago in Morton Grove. We open tomorrow for lunch. We're thrilled. We're through all of our practice parties. The staff is ready and we're waiting for everyone to join us. So Matt, I got a little happy sneak. To be open. I got a little sneak preview of what you're whipping up for us today during the commercial break. Uh, what do you have here? So for the new year, we started our new chef recommendation program where we're actually doing our dishes uh, every two months and we're doing an appetizer, a lunch entree, a dinner entree and a dessert all Ooh. paired with our wines. So I'm going to put this one together for you. This is our Sonoma chicken sandwich. So we start off with some some kind of crusty um, sourdough polenta bread, Yum. a little bit of arugula, spinach, a um, little ma maple mustard mayo. OK. Um, and then we have uh, some chicken that we've seasoned very simply, a little blackening spice, some fontina cheese that we melt on, a little bit of lemon. And then here's where the Sonoma comes in. So we have some, some kind of sweet candied walnuts. Oh, that's interesting. Um, this, is our, this is our fig jam that we just kind of chop up. So you know, layered with sweet and savory. Um, we have some, some chopped applewood smoked bacon here. Ooh, even very better. Very delicious. Okay. And then... Um, we just top that off. Oh, that looks so good. Throw a couple good. picks in here and cut it in half. And then we have a really nice salad. So kind of we're coming into spring. We've got Easter coming up here. So that's our, our beautiful sandwich here. A little sweet and, and savory. And then our salad. Yeah, and then our salad we have, you know, just some greens, a little bit of carrot, radish. Um, makes this kind of French. We've got some leaves of a parsley, a little bit of tarragon, and then this kind of really light creamy French vinaigrette with a little bit of mustard, some champagne vinegar. Oh, that looks good. We tossed it all together. So this is one of our lunch chef recommendations that you can enjoy for March or April. Okay. And then if you pan around, we also have our, um, our dinner entree, which is absolutely spectacular. It's a burrata ravioli. Oh, that so sounds good. So it's a ravioli good. that's stuffed with burrata. We simmer it with some, some of our braised short ribs. Everybody loves our short ribs and kind of a <laughs> tomato, Parmesan, San Marzano sauce that we finish with a little bit of a stracciatella on top. Wow. And if you're a carrot cake lover, we have the absolute best carrot cake in the world. It's oh, selling like good. crazy. People love it. Yeah, so layers of uh, you know, carrot cake and rich cream cheese frosting here. Wow. And then just a couple of our... Um, Appetizers, we've got you know, some flatbreads that we do, a flatbread salad combination. It's a great lunch item. Oh, that looks yeah, so, so we're, we're thrilled to, thrilled to be opening tomorrow and really, really excited. Mm, they all look so good. So let's talk about pairing yeah. wine with some of these dishes. Absolutely. Yeah, so we pair all of our dishes uh, with, with our wines. So this one in particular, our, uh, our burrata ravioli, we have uh, paired with our Below the Belt. So this is our okay. Wine of the Month, which features grapes from all over the Southern Hemisphere. Um, this Sonoma sandwich, we pair with our Chardonnay, so a really great, crisp, uh, slightly oaky, buttery Chardonnay. And uh, Emily Wines and I, uh, our master sommelier, we work together closely to pair all of our wines uh, with our dishes. So we, we create, you know, really special wines every month. You know, we've got our, uh, we've got a great exclusive member, uh, relationship with the SAG Awards. So we've created okay. a, a SAG wine also. Um, wow. We've got over here so that we, cr we created some great dishes for the SAG, which is coming up, uh, you know, next week. So Matt, we're thrilled about that relationship as well. You are just surrounded by good food, good drinks here. Do you have a personal favorite? I'm really partial to our gnocchi. So our gnocchi okay. was one of the first dishes I put on the menu. And we, we work with a local family here that hand makes our ricotta gnocchi for us and ships it around the country. Uh, so I've always been a huge fan of our gnocchi dishes. Yeah. Oh. Our gnocchi carbonara is probably my favorite. And I understand that Cooper's Delicious. Hawk Wine Club has more than 450,000 members, right? Yes, it was interesting. Actually, going into the pandemic, we had, we had less of that. And... Uh, 
you know, we've got a huge fan base yeah. and we continue to grow. And it obviously everyone had a great time drinking over COVID. I know I did. Uh, so we continue to you know, work on our uh, membership base and uh, they're incredible people. Um, all over the country, you know, we uh, we love to give back. We do wine club dinners. We've actually we've got one coming up next month with Richard Blaze. Um, you know, wine club trips. You know, so we are all about our wine club members and, and giving back. Mm, well, certainly, we wish you the best of luck tomorrow. To make a reservation, you can go to chwinery.com. Thank you for joining us this morning, Matt. My pleasure. Come join our club. <laughs> all right, all right, Mark. What do you think?